Hello guys, how are you all? So I'm back again with some more questions for all of you who are preparing for the ATO sponsorship exam of Anglo Eastern Maritime Academy. So without wasting any time, let's start with the questions. So the first question is, what is the difference between BJT and MOSFET? So guys, it's a very basic question that you all can answer. So I've tried answering it for all of you. So uh, my answer if it was us from me would have been this BJT is a as the name suggests bipolar Jensen transistor bipolar means it has both majority and minority charge carriers that result in the output current also BJT is a current controlled current device whereas MOSFET is a voltage controlled current device and it is a minority uh, sorry unipolar device which means it has only majority charge carriers so this is the reason why mosfet is faster in terms of in terms of switching mosfet is faster than bjt because it is a majority charge carrier it does not have any minority so uh, while switching mosfet is faster than bjt because there is no need to remove the minority charge carriers so the next difference would be in terms of speed in terms of speed bjt is faster yeah you heard it right bjt is faster in terms of processing speeds but nowadays mosfets are being built with cmos technology so mosfets are also becoming faster in processing however mosfets are already faster in switching so this is the basic difference so where to choose BZT and where to choose MOSFET depends on the kind of application that we use. For example, in case of uh, high current or high, uh, high load conditions, BZTs are um, preferred. In high current conditions, BZTs are preferred. Whereas uh, in higher switching applications like SMPS, MOSFETs are preferred. So guys, what could be a related questions? Uh, what what could be related questions to this question? What is the difference between BJT and MOSFET? Is what is IGBT? IGBT is insulated gate bipolar transistor, and it is a special kind of transistor that has both the good features of BJT in and MOSFET. This is the small answer. If you are interested, you can write down. On the comments if should if i should uh, make a video on explanation of igbt so guys uh, the next question that was asked was how radar works so first of all radar is uh, radio detection and ranging and it is it is one of the most important instrument on board a ship and in modern ships is it has really become very important and vital part so radar as i told stands for radio detection and ranging and the question asked was how does a radar works so the operating principle of radar is very simple uh, you might i mean you obviously uh, know the distance is equal to speed into time or speed is equal to distance upon time so from this formula we can directly or easily calculate the distance of a target so radar is used to detect the distances of the target from the ship okay so that it does not uh, get in collision with the uh, objects or other ships so the basic principle is it reflects it transmits some uh, radio waves which are called electromagnetic waves that travel at a speed equal to that of light so these electromagnetic waves are transmitted and then reflected back from the target that we have to measure the distance and then uh, the time taken for the reflection and transmit transmission of this electromagnetic wave is used to calculate the distance from the formula we know that is d is equal to speed into time as we are as we have already calculated the time 
and also we already know the speed of electromagnetic wave we can easily calculate the distance so this is the uh, basic principle of radar so the important thing in radar is what generates these electromagnetic waves the let me tell you one thing the most frequent work of an ato on board a ship is to change magnetron if the problem is related with radar most of the times the problem comes from this magnetron so this magnetron is the only thing that is used to generate these electromagnetic waves so magnetron is a device that that intakes current and this current is used to this current is used to generate what generate vibrations and these vibrations are guided through a tube that is known as waveguide and these vibrations or waves when guided through a tube are reflected from an antenna that goes around the surrounding and reflect back from the target so the reflected waves are calculated and the distance is accordingly calculated so the most important thing on radar is a magnetron so the magnetron you have to remember and the related question on the radar could be sonar sonar is sound navigation and ranging and other questions that could be asked are eco sounder eco sounder is used to measure the difference a uh, distance uh, from of the depth of the sea i mean it is used to calculate the how deep a uh, c is okay so as i have uh, talked about magnetron so i will further uh, tell you one question that was asked is how does a oven microwave oven works so microwave oven also has a magnetron so the basic principle is related with generation of vibrations only so what happens in a microwave oven is that a uh, magnetron is placed inside it and uh, inside casing of a, a microwave oven is metal casing so when we turn on vibrations are created a microwave vi vibrations are created these vibrations reflect inside on these this covering only and the, the, the food that is kept uh, uh, between these uh, metal casings the reflected waves go through these foods and the molecules of the foods get vibrations and they vibrate and due to this vibration heat is generated and this heat is used to cook the food so as simple as that the vibrations produced by the magnetron inside a microwave oven generate molecules to vibrate which causes heat and this heat is used to cook the food so guys these are the three questions and the next question that was asked is what is oximeter and its working so very interesting question i also did not know the answer of this question so i searched and prepared an answer for all of you that could be answered to the interview so first of all why was this question question asked this question was asked because it was time of covid and during covid this pulse oximeter was very famous so interestingly it is related with all of us like uh, it has something to do with the electrical engineering or electronics or photo engineering so let's see what is an oximeter so an oximeter is a device pulse opti oximeter i'm talking about is a device that is used to calculate the oxygen content in our blood so guys what happens is uh, there there are two two things in our blood one is oxygenated hemoglobin and other is deoxygenated hemoglobin so two parts these two oxygenated and deoxygenated blood cells uses different kind of absorption and transmission of lights so what happens is um, this uh, oxygenated hemoglobin absorbs more infrared lights and allows red light to pass through it whereas deoxygenated hemoglobin absorbs more red light and passes infrared lights so uh, the working of oximeter is 
the game of these two lights only so more so ever it is only a principle of lights i mean it depends upon the absorption and transmission of lights so the working principle is like this as there are two lights infrared and red light these two lights leds are used on the oximeter and suppose this is the oximeter upwards the two lights are placed and downwards there is a, a base to put our finger so when we put our finger a lights are passed so the amount of infrared and red lights are calculated and their ratio determines the amount of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood in uh, blood in our body so the calculation of amount of absorbed absorbed light red light and infrared light gives the amount of oxygen in our blood so i don't think everyone can answer this question because it was not so obvious because we generally ignore all these kind of things so we don't really bother about such questions but it would not affect your interview score but it would be a plus point if you can prepare such kind of questions and if you are interested in all these such kind of questions you you have a upper hand so maybe you should focus on some questions which are trending around the world or at that time so more questions that that are related to electrical engineer, engineering and are trending at that moment would be really beneficial for all of you so the related question to this question could be how does a diabetic machine works the machine that is used to calculate the sugar in our body how does it work so it could be a question because it also uses some principle of electricity in it and this could be one of the questions because it is more or less related to our surroundings and as the diabetic patients in india are very much nowadays and everyone uses this machine so it could be one of the questions so the last question for today is how does a tv remote works so guys this is also one of the most probable questions that could be asked in etu interview because it is related to our surrounding our day to day life so i'll tell you answer of this question how does a tv remote works so tv remote works on very simple principle you would have heard about morse code that were used earlier on ships so more or less it is say similar in principle to morse coding because i'll tell you one example in examination hall we used to cheat so the example is uh, in uh, exam in examination halls we used to cheat sometimes in multiple type questions so uh, the uh, the isare jo hote the the i mean indications were like one for a two for b three for c four for d four fingers up means d option is right in similar manner tv remote also works for example if you want to increase the volume of or you increase volume up you press the volume up key there is certain binary code related to this that volume up key 0101 and that code is transmitted to the light fitted at the front it is basically a infrared light so that light blinks according to that binary code for example if the code is 0101 so light will be like on off on off and this code is transmitted and is received by the tv receiver and uh, that tv receiver detects there is a photodiode that detects that light and it records it and when the light blinks like on off on off the code is 0101 so this code is transmitted inside and processed on a chip inside a tv and the volume goes up and similarly all these buttons are configured to a specific binary code that is transmitted from the remote and reaches to the tv receiver so in this way our tv remote works so guys let me tell you the related questions that could be asked after this question or related to these this tv remote questions question so the questions could be how does 
because this is related to photodiode again uh, the photodiode question were also oximeter was also related to the photodiode principle it is also related to the photodiode principle and the other question that could be related that are related with photodiode principle and could be asked are how does a uh, automatic opening door in a mall works you must have seen that glass door that opens automatically in big offices and malls so the other question could be the counter that counts the uh, on a conveyor belt uh, there is a counting machine that counts automatically that principle is also related with photodiode so these are some related question to this tv remote question so you must give also i have uh, as the talk is going on for uh, photo principle so there is also one famous question that is nowadays being asked is uh, how does a photocopying machine works you must also see that i have already explained it in another video so guys let's revise the five questions that were this that were discussed today is first was difference between bzd and mosfet second was how does radar works third one was how microwave oven works and the fourth one was what is oximeter and it's working and the last question that i discussed was how does a tv remote works so guys that's it for today we will meet a next video till then take care and don't forget to subscribe this channel and like the video if you like it really and also comment down what kind of content you are i mean what kind of questions and interview uh, preparation tips you want me from this channel please comment down thank you very much